Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I'm going to talk about a few features on the uh, Pixel App plugin. Today we're going to talk about the Create Texture feature, the Create Tile Set feature, and also the experimental Create Tile Set new. Firstly, we're going to cover the Map Create Texture tool. When you first open up the tool, you'll see a few key things. Right up top, there's a description. This is where you type any type of texture you'd like. It can be as detailed as possible or super simple. Just keep in mind, the more context you give it, the better the results. Right below that, you'll find two drop-down menus. One for shading and one for detail. Beneath those, we have the init image, which acts as a reference to the generator. If you have a certain uh, style or look you're trying to achieve, you can use this and mess with the uh, strength of it. The less it is, the more creative the model gets. The higher, the more it stays true to your initial drawing. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Under the advanced options, we have guidance weight, which is for the description. The same thing applies to this as it did the in image. The higher it is, the stricter it's going to be. The less, the more creative the model can get. Down here, we have the seeds. Normally, it's best to keep it at zero unless you have a, a seed already in mind from a previous generation. If that's the case, you can load it by clicking the select file uh, button here. So for reference, I'm just going to click one of these at random. And there we go. Wavy water with pebbles at the bottom. So this tool is super useful whenever you're trying to nail a certain style before you generate a tile set. It's a lot faster and it's a lot easier to clean up. All right, the next tool we're going to cover is the map create tile set. This tool is super useful and it's packed full of features. Starting off, we have two tiles at the top, the inner tile and the outer tile. It allows you to set your current textures to generate in the tile set. This way, there's no guessing game on what your output would be and you can stay true to your current style. However, if you do not have any textures, that's where the texture tool comes in for 16 by 16 tiles. However, this gives you the option to use 32 by 32. So if you don't have any textures, you can always just press clear on that and keep them blank. This way it will generate the textures for you. However, I'm going to keep it 16 by 16 as default. If you do not have any textures, you can describe them just like you did in the Create Texture tool. There is one new drop-down box in the Guidance section for Outlines. Again, just experiment with it and see what you like. Under the Advanced Options, this is where it gets kind of exciting. The border jitter is basically how noisy the outline of the tile set blob will be. The map strength is how often the tile's texture repeats. The lower it is, the more simple of a texture you will get. The higher it is, the more randomness the texture will be. 
tile strength. Kind of the same thing, however, this is more of the detail inside the tile. The AI border freedom is basically the shape of the tile set blob. And we also have the seed option right here. This tool also allows you to export into Sprite Fusion uh, via JSON and it also saves as a PNG. It looks pretty intimidating, but honestly, it just takes a little bit of experimenting until you get the right feel of everything. Next and final tool on our list to cover, which would be the experimental tool, create tile set new. This one has a lot of similarities to the previous one we just covered. However, there are some core differences. As you can see, we have three tiles up top now, uh, meaning we have a true transition tile. The inner tile would be the middle tile, the in-between, and then the border tile. You can set a reference image for this one. However, it will not use it one-to-one. -one. It will just use it as a in an image. Your descriptions are key here, as well as getting a good in an image. We have the same outline, shading, and details. The transition tiles, the size. We have five options. We have none, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1, and 2. A small example right here I can show you. So none has no elevation. 0.25 is about a quarter of a tile. CA5 is roughly half a tile. These do not change the height of the uh, tile set. However, it does give you elevation in the transition. If you go down here to the CA and CA2, the CA1 increases the tile size by 1, and the CA2 increases it by 2. This is all relative to which size you select in the tile size. Again, you have two options in this one. Tile strength is a guidance for the reference image you set, and the guidance weight would be for the descriptions, just like before. You can also export this into Sprite Fusion. You just have to go back to the map, then create tile set, export to Sprite Fusion. This will only work on the first three options of transition sizes, the none, 0.25, and 0.5. I believe that's everything for this tutorial. I'm just going to show off a time lapse of the three tools working together and how you can export them to Sprite Fusion and also export them to Game Engines. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and also reach out to us on Discord. Let the textures flow inside Got your inner transition
flare outline shading everywhere how wide's the blend transition size and tile size right before your eyes choose your path your time.